please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. Today is Thursday, October 3rd. I'm Abby Greenwald. And I'm Connor Aiken. Coming up, we talk to couples that are going to homecoming this weekend. Also, we have Caroline Doster with your weekly weather report. We'll be right back with all this in your school news. In class news, juniors interested in signing up for Powder Puff as players or coaches can get a permission slip from either the class bulletin board or from Mrs. Marzak in room 28. Signed forms and money must be turned into Mrs. Marzak by Friday, October 18th in order to play. Dues must be paid to participate. Today during lunch periods in the cafeteria, there will be a recruiter for the U.S. Army. Any ninth grader who received a permission form from Arlene Silcox, job trainer, about going to CTC for career scope assessment and is interested in going, please return your permission form to the counseling office by Friday, October 4th. If you need another permission form, stop by room 502 to pick up another one. Do you have a passion for math, possibly interested in a career in actuarial science where a typical entry salary is about $75,000? Here is a great opportunity to job shadow in that field. Conrad Siegel is conducting the Career Day Experience on Thursday, November 7th in Harrisburg. Space is limited, so you need to register early. See Mrs. Follett at the College and Career Center desk to pick up a flyer with more information. The following college representatives are coming to meet with interested students grades 10 through 12. Please sign up at the College and Career Center desk in the library if you are interested in attending a meeting. Friday, October 4th, Delaware Valley University. Monday, October 7th, Bloomsburg University and Alvernia University. Tuesday, October 8th, Muhlenberg College and Susquehanna University. Wednesday, October 9th, your College, York College, Juniata College, McDaniel College. Thursday, October 10th, Lebanon Valley College and Millersville University. Friday, October 11th, IUP, Marywood University and St. Vincent College. A Kutztown admissions counselor will be visiting Cedar Crest on Thursday, October 17th at 11 a.m. She will then be conducting an instant decision day opportunity for seniors who plan to apply to Kutztown and would like to know after a brief one-to-one -one interview if they qualify to be admitted. Students do not need to commit that day. If interested in, interested in this opportunity, which also involves obtaining an application fee waiver, please see Mrs. Fall at the College and Career Center desk in the library as soon as possible since appointment times are filling quickly. In club news, the deadline to join Drama Club is October 15th. If you would like to join, please bring your $10 dues, which includes your t-shirt to room 608. You must join and pay dues to be eligible to attend our after-school field trip to see Jekyll and Hyde. The October Drama Club meeting will be for members only. Students who would like to join GSA should stop by room 312 for a registration form. Anyone interested in joining Key Club should pay club dues before the end of this week. Get, you, get your form and money to Mrs. Reich in room 211. Key Club members, make sure you are checking signup.com to see all of the projects that need, are in need of volunteers. If you have received an application and acceptance letter to NHS, please tear off the bottom section of that letter, mark your response, please sign it and bring it back to room 221 ASAP. Also, if you think you should have received an acceptance letter and you did not, please see Mr. Plitschta in room 221 immediately to verify your NHS application status. And finally, we have an announcement from the Spanish Club. Buenos dias, Sierra Crest. I'm Dylan Tall, President of Spanish Club. And I'm Gavin Howard, Vice President of Spanish Club. This is an announcement to all Spanish Club members and anyone that wants to join. Dues are $10 and must be paid to Mr. Plitschta in room 221 by next meeting on Wednesday, October 9th. And now, back to the desk. This week is Spirit Week in honor of Levi's Challenge. Today, sophomores and seniors wear blue and freshmen and juniors wear gray. Tomorrow, wear red for Levi. There will also be a pep rally today, so we are on an activity schedule. Voting for Homecoming Queen will be open tomorrow. Please listen to the announcements tomorrow morning for further instructions. Every week, Quiz Bowl will be sharing a fact of the week. This week, we have Hope Fisher in the studio to tell us an interesting animal fact. Thanks, guys. The orca, also known as the killer whale, is one of the few natural predators of a moose. They prey on moose swimming between islands on the northwest coast of North America. That's all for the Quiz Bowl fact of the week. Now, back to the desk. The annual homecoming dance is being held this weekend, and many couples throughout the school are excited for the event. Correspondent Caitlin Bortz caught up with students about how they asked each other to the dance. Coco on her uh, 
car windshield and then waiting for her after her game and giving her flowers. So I went into Minecraft and I just spelled Hoko with dirt, dirt blocks and then I showed him and what'd you say? No. And we're going. I, I still have to ask her parents for permission because what I'm going to do is there's a park behind her house and I'm going to get the poster and some like lights around the poster and take a string from the park and like take it all the way like a, like a little bit up to our house probably. We're going to Hershey Park on the 21st and I thought it'd be pretty cool if I made her a poster that said since we're going to the sweetest place on earth I thought it'd be pretty sweet if you went to Hong Kong. Um, I made a sign that said I know we're just friends but can this be the one where we go to Hong Kong because we both like the TV show Friends, and I got her a keychain that said, would you be the Rachel to my Monica? I asked her to homecoming with candles that spelled out Coco with a heart. The only word to describe her is perfect, and still perfect doesn't even do her justice. Because she's my best friend, and our boyfriends can't go. Because <laughs> she is the best person I know, and she's just so beautiful and amazing. He has to pick out his socks. You can't go to homecoming without this sick sock game up here. Look at this. You don't get Bob Ross socks like that just anywhere. I think Ethan's going to take longer because I have everything planned out, but he's going to sleep up until five minutes before we leave and be like, I got to get ready. Her. No. I don't know what, what no. you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm fast. I'm good. You you're not, you're not fast. Hours. Definitely her. <laughs> Senorita. It's not slow, but... It'll go how it goes. Beautiful crazy. <laughs> Sanguine Paradise by Lil Uzi Vert or The Star Spangled Banner, uh, Circa USA. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know the words that it is. The buckle. So Connor, how'd you ask your date to homecoming? I used a box of donuts and wrote, I do not want to go to homecoming with anyone else. Oh, that's so sweet. And be sure to buy your tickets today if you have not already. See you on the dance floor. Anyone who is wrestling this year or thinking about wrestling this year and just wants to check it out, please come to the open gym workouts. They are every Monday and Wednesday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. in the upper gym located above the pool. All are welcome to attend. Come out to the cage tonight as the girls' volleyball team takes on Warwick. JV starts at 6 and varsity starts at 7. We need as many of the cage crazies as possible. If you would like your sports news announced, please email cchstoday at gmail.com by 7.10 a.m. the school day following your game so we can announce it. If scores are not submitted in time, they will not be announced. Since fall has begun, it has been unusually hot for this time of year. Caroline, is the hot weather going to stick around for homecoming? Today is the beginning of cool fall weather. For Thursday, with a high of 62 and a low of 57 with rain. Friday will be a high of 64 and a low of 39, but it will be sunny and breezy. For Saturday and homecoming, we'll have a high of 63 and a low of 46 with sunshine. Sunday has a high of 67 and a low of 56 with some clouds. Starting next week, we'll have a high of 71 and a low of 50 with possible showers. Tuesday, it's a high of 69 and a low of 46 with possible showers. And wrapping up Wednesday, we'll have a high of 67 and a low of 40 with possible showers. That's all for your weekly weather outlook. Back to the desk. Thanks, Caroline. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Abby Greenwald. And I'm Connor Aiken. Make it a great day, Cedarcrest.